Hi everybody. Well, today we're going to um, do some demonstrations with molecules and combustion. Combustion is just a fancy word for burning. And combustion will release chemical energy. Inside the molecules there are bonds. And these chemical bonds store chemical energy. Now this has uh, methane in it. And methane is naturally just lighter than air. And so that bubble goes up. Uh, here I'm putting bubbles down into this uh, bowl, just soap bubbles, with methane inside of them. Instead of the regular, you know, atmospheric uh, molecules that we're familiar with, uh, this one has methane. When I add some activation energy from my torch and the oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere, then we get a chemical reaction, an exothermic chemical reaction. It gives off heat, gives off light. You ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so that, that's methane, right? Methane. CH4, natural gas. Uh, and as we showed you, it's uh, lighter than air. This next thing I'll show you is heavier than air. It's propane. I'm going to try and blow a bubble with my pro pro propane torch. So let me try that. And since propane has three carbons, right, C3H8, that's its chemical formula, and that's the shape, looks a little bit like a dog, right, with, you know, white legs and ears and a tail and all that, propane. Uh, but having three carbons makes it heavier than the stuff in our atmosphere, right? The things in our atmosphere will be like O2, N2, diatomic nitrogen, diatomic oxygen. These aren't as heavy as three carbons, let alone three carbons with eight hydrogens on it. So this should sink. Let's see if I can actually make a bubble. I'll try. Nope. I'll try again. <clears throat> if at first you don't succeed, quit. Nope. There, it sinks. All right? See that? So, a sinking bubble full of combustible gases. There we go, the sinking. And floating bubbles made with natural gas. So in different situations, like natural gas would go upwards and dissipate, but propane would sink and go down into um, like a, a low-lying area, possibly build up to the point where it could explode. Uh, okay, no, that didn't work. Let's try this, yeah, there we go. Try it again. And it should go up, but it's not. Let's try it again. It went up before, right? There we go. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. This thing works. You pull the trigger. So don't stick your face in here and do it. Oh, I thought you were Try and keep your distance. Let me shut this off before you ignite it. Try practice a little bit. Squeeze the trigger away from this. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you ready? Oh, that's a lot. Um, Watch your faces. Might burn the beer right off of Mr. Bowl. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Try it. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Nice. Oh, yeah, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> so, flaming bubbles. Um, Anything else that you'd like to see us try? I remember one. Yes? Could you put food coloring in it? Oh, you could, but then the splatter and the mess and that. It'd be fun to see food coloring. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's doing it anyway. Oh, oh. 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 We'll drop the food coloring. Oh, yeah, let's do that. What do we do? Absolutely. Okay. So, unless. Uh, now, okay, you want to roll back your sleeve a little, right? Um, no, oh, <laughs> wait, oh. <laughs> Jackie might want to take your, uh, like, I'll show you what we're yeah, talking about. I'll do the igniting. Yeah, that, now that, I think, probably, let me, let me fill that material. Yeah, that's, that's going to be safer. I mean, I still wouldn't put flame on it. Yeah. But, um, I don't want to make close the catch on fire. Yeah. Or your rubber braces not to. So if I get smaller bubbles. I think you, I remember you saying something about it doesn't burn to your hand because the water around your hand. 
Yeah, exactly. Now, um... Well, that and the fact that we don't have more fuel going on to it. So these bubbles will absorb some of the heat energy, right? And when my hand is wet, the wet part of that is going to absorb the heat energy as well. So let's, let me try this first before you try it. Take a handful of bubbles and lift Ow. them up. Whoa! Singed a little bit. I mean, you're going to feel some heat. It's not like that was cold, but I'm yeah. fine. I think I did lose a little bit of knuckle hair. So. <laughs> it was like that, that side kind of got me. Yeah, that was easy. Okay. All right, so the amount matters, how much you put on there. And please, please don't flick your hand. Like you have to control yourself. If I had this and it's on fire and I go, Goodbye, Goodbye, Amanda. <laughs> right? Don't worry, do for us. So you just don't flip, don't, don't flick your hand, please, right? We do have fire extinguishers here. We do have other equipment. We hope not to have to use them. You Promise not to try this at home? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I will let you try this at home. It's me. <laughs> Now, the odor that's in this, they add that to it. Propane and methane on their own have no odor whatsoever, which makes them very dangerous. Oh, it's like so we know Exactly. Okay. Okay, now you got a lot of them. Okay, here we go. So get it away from that a little bit. Oh. Well, I just don't want to set this on fire. Oh, great. Oh. Oof. Oof.